Yo guys, what's going on? It's Ranger W here with my week one battle of the playoffs versus Beal, coach of the Baltimore Bay Guns. As you guys may recall, we got pretty badly beaten by these by this team first go around. Just a few weeks ago. Cosmic Power Combine Clefable put in the work. Didn't have too much answers for it that week. But this time we are bringing in Polygon with Slash Cannon. So yeah, that should be good enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. But uh, so going into this matchup, uh, I knew we had a better chance this week because I kind of knew what he wanted to do last week. Uh, I knew it was a rack when it didn't work last week because I was able to trick a scarf onto it. It wasn't able to get us webs up. I was kind of thinking he wouldn't bring it this time. So I was kind of like, eh, Claydol's not as valuable tricking scarves this week versus his team. Um, but yeah, I brought a bandit guard shop here just to do maximum damage to his team. Running a uh, dual dance, calm mind, rock polish, uh, necrozma just to hit his team really hard uh, with photon geyser and dark pulse, obviously. And uh, we're running a scarf, uh, Feeny. As you know, I love my offensive Feeny. I like to catch things by surprise. Um, it hits pretty much his whole team for, 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 for pretty good damage with uh, surf, moon blast, uh, just oh, general coverage, defog. It, it, it just does work against his team uh, late game or even early game. He doesn't really have a, the best switch in. It does 40 to 50. Two it kills basically everything on his team if I'm not mistaken. Um, maybe barring a Spadef, Clefable. And then we're also running Choice Scarf Shaman to catch his team by off surprise. In case uh, he's running Choice Scarf Darmanitan, we can hit him pretty hard with the Earth Power. Uh, obviously Scarf, uh, Scarf, excuse me, Kiram is a, is a problem for our team and whatnot. So, and then we're also running Empoleon here just few coverage moves just to hit his team flash cannon surf scald i think i'm sorry <laughs> and uh we have some pretty good heat for that napoleon i mean that parisian excuse me and then we're just rocking out with a pretty pretty standard direct on set with leftovers <laughs> it's the only way we could deal with the palace in guys uh we're running toxic protect stone edge and aerial ace on that so i'm gonna decide to lead with my uh feeny here knowing that anything he leads uh I could just pretty much hit for almost super effective damage, or just do a ton to it. Um, we need Manectric, that could be a problem though, but uh, we'll just see what, what he decides to do. So there is our Feeny, and his Darmanitan hits the board here. I was very worried about this. Um, I think, I believe we speed tie, uh, if he is Choice Scarf, I could be mistaken about that. I probably shouldn't know that, but uh, whatever. And. Um, yeah, I believe this thing does get Wild Charger, Thunder Punch at least, and that will do a ton of damage to me. Um, but you know what? We are max speed. I am going to risk the biscuit if we speed tie, and I'm going to click Surf because I know it almost guarantee kills, uh, unless he's running some HP investment. Um, so yeah, I think we caught him off guard there. I, I have no idea what set he was. Could have been Bandit or, or Life Orb or something, but uh, probably Zen Mode, believe it or not. But uh, yeah, we're gonna take him out, and that is a one huge start off the board. Uh, believe it or not, I think that thing two KOs hope my whole team with like earth earthquake coverage. Obviously, flare blitz does a ton to everything on my team. Um, yeah, it's, it's really good we got rid of that thing. So he's gonna go on his Verizion here. Don't know what this Verizion wants to do. Uh, it could be bandit or something. So uh, I'm not gonna want to stay in there, take a leaf blade to the face, and uh, he's just gonna sub up here on my shaman. Uh, I have to break this sub here because this could be a problem if he uh, I start going for sword stances or uh, calm minds or. Whatever setup. Uh, this is one of his Z users, so I gotta be on the lookout for that. So we're just gonna click Dazzle Gleam. We are able to break the sub with this Dazzle Gleam, and uh, he's just gonna go for Hidden Power Ice, I believe. Uh, that's yeah, that's probably what it is. <laughs> and uh, he's just gonna go out and just Clefable here to take any hits, and um, yeah, he's gonna take this Dazzle Gleam like a champ. And uh, Leftovers Recovery is coming in clutch, almost back to full. And I'm just gonna go into my point. I do not want him setting up or anything I, he could think i'm some sort of uh roar set i believe uh or whirlwind i think it gets both but um yeah so i just kind of want to scare him out of setting up in case he does have some sort of setup but uh, he's just gonna go for the rocks which is not too big of a deal we're not really weak to any and nothing on our team is weak to rocks and uh, yeah his leftover is just gonna keep healing him up he's not gonna take a flash cannon or anything here but uh, i'm just gonna go for a hydro pump here because i knew he most likely wouldn't stay in i uh, wasn't sure if Verizion was a switch in I could have went for that uh, heat drill pack there. <laughs> Almost did it, though, believe it or not. Would have been really nice. But um, this hydro pump miss was pretty big because uh, 
now Scarf Moonblast won't kill this thing. Um, I think a few other things on our team are slightly affected by this. Um, so yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's kind of a big deal, but uh, it's no problem. We could try to work around it, and our shame is going to come in here, take rocks damage, and it's going to catch us all out pummeling to the penis. And she falls down. Mira Jane, rest in peace. You didn't do much this match besides break a few subs, but uh, you did your job. So I'm going to Terrakion here. I am max speed. Um, I'm going to risk it here because I know we both are 108 speed. I, you just got to risk the biscuit in playoffs, guys. And um, yeah, he's just going to switch out. He's not going to want to risk the biscuit on his end. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're just going to go for the um, aerial lace here, hitting what's in front of us. Uh, in hindsight, I should have known that he probably wouldn't want to risk, uh, risk staying in and clicking Giga Drain or whatever. But uh, yeah, we're just going to click the aerial lace here and um, do literally zero damage to him. <laughs> Palace hand is a pain in the ass, guys. And we're just going to click Toxic here. Uh, we can, knowing we can live any hit he goes for. Wow, we did not take that well, but <laughs> we lived it at least. And uh, didn't, didn't do enough to kill us. And uh, Toxic damage is coming in. Obviously, no, he has Shore up because uh, he's a stalling little uh, SOB, but that's, that's besides the point. So yeah, we're just, we're just gonna click protect here and have him take more toxic damage. Kind of play like a little little douchey game. Douche, like, just like, you know, stall him out a little bit. And then we're gonna go out into our Emma here. Um, uh, and he's gonna make a good play and go out into his Manectric here. I'm not gonna run Stainer, take a Thunderbolt. I'm gonna predict a Volt Switch or a Thunderbolt or some shenanigans. If you went for a hit by Ice, I would've just been, been done. I would've been upset. But uh, no, he goes for a Volt Switch. Obviously, the smart play on his end. and. Uh, doesn't work for him. We're intimidated, of course, and but we are banded, remember, and we're going to do a ton of damage to his palace end as it comes in. Obviously, everything on his team is grounded. Yeah, so basically, we're going to go out into our Verizion. He's going to go into his Verizion here, wanting to take this Earthquake. It is not going to do enough damage. And, yeah, we're going to be able to um, hit him pretty hard with these Earthquakes. Obviously, his Giga Drain isn't doing enough. Misty Terrain is gone, and we are going to live a Hidden Power Ice. We ran just enough HP and Spadef to take a Hidden Power Ice from, I believe, Manectric. Uh, so it came in real clutch there, and we are able to take out his Verizion. Obviously, that didn't really matter that I lived on one, because I had a few things to revenge this thing. Uh, like Scarf, uh, believe it or not, uh, Scarfini. So, yeah, that, that wouldn't have been a huge issue, but uh, it is nice that we lived. And he's going to get to be able to go out into his Manetric, uh, intimidate us again as if we weren't already intimidated, and take us out with a signal beam. Uh, predicting probably my Necrozma, but uh, obviously knowing that it would take me out there. And uh, this is going to give Necrozma a free chance to come out here, and um, we're going we're gonna to go for the, um, we're going to try to go for the win here and uh, go for a Rock Polish. Lelouch, come on, can you put in the work? So now we do outspeed his whole team, um, and uh, we will go for the Photon Geyser Z move. And uh, it does take him out. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, really happy about that. Uh, I think it does have higher defense, so it does make sense. But uh, we're just going to call mind here, knowing he can't really do much to us. Um, Moonblast would suck. But uh, yeah, he just didn't go for an Ice Beam. Uh, if he got a Freeze there, it would have been really bad, bad, really bad news. But uh, we're going to be able to take uh, his Clefable out with a Crit Photon Geyser. I don't think that mattered, but uh, you can let me know in the comments if it did. I think we are max special attack, so... I'm not sure if it did, and um, we're going to be able to live any hit he goes for here, but obviously we're not going to be hit because we are plus two speed, and take him out with the Photon Geyser. And then next comes his Palo Sand, which will easily go down to this Photon Geyser, and we are headed to the semifinals, guys. It's been a long season, nine weeks, now ten weeks in. But wow, we are still in it. We are still fighting for that championship. We have a few hurdles in our way. Obviously, Hero and Schmeb at the top, uh, resting on their bye week, uh, just kind of taking the day, taking the week off, uh, watching. But um, yeah, we we've we've got we've gotten to the semifinals. It's been a while since we've been here, but we are back. We are ready. We are hungry. We are thirsty. We want this championship, guys. We want it bad. And if you want it for us, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace.